everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you a review of the Goya Sanui tote bag. We'll be discussing um, pricing, wear and tear, pros and cons, um, and I will show you how I structured the inside of the bag as well. So if you're curious to see, then please keep on watching. So this is actually a bag that I acquired pretty recently. Um, I've done the unboxing on my channel. So if you're curious to see the unboxing of this particular bag and kind of here are my first impressions of it, then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. So while I've only had this bag for a couple of months, I actually feel very confident doing a review about it because I have used it and used it and used it and used it so many times. So let's maybe start with the pricing. So this is the size PM and in black and it retails for $1,620 plus tax. So really not too, too expensive, at least in my mind. Um, for a designer bag, this is very reasonable. It's less expensive than like an LV Neverfull. It's less expensive than most Yves Saint Laurent handbags. It's really, really reasonably priced. So that's one of the main things I appreciate about this bag. One of the things that I will let you know now with the pricing is that it was quite hard to acquire this handbag. This is something that I explained kind of at length in my unboxing video, but basically um, they have very few stores throughout the US. Um, there is no uh, possibility of buying um, a bag on the website. So you basically have to like call the boutique, give them like, I think the price is like 200 more or something like that um, with your credit card without ever having seen the bag and then they will ship it to your house, which I didn't want to do. So I ended up going to New York City for like a day. I drove it and then I tried on a bunch of handbags and in the end, I decided on getting a different bag than I had initially intended to, and I'm so glad I did. So short story, um, it's pretty hard to get a bag, but it's not too expensive. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the pros and cons. And maybe instead of always starting with the um, pros, let's maybe start with the cons because there's so few of them. I mean, quite frankly, I can only think of one con but it's a fixable con, so that's the good news. And for me, that con would be the lack of structure, the lack of shape of this bag. And now you must be like, wait, this bag seems pretty structured, like it's not drooping down, it's pretty structured, what is she talking about? So this is because I actually use a bag base shaper um, and it looks just like this and it's from M Boutique. It's a company that I am partnering with for this video. And so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what they do, a little bit about what they offer. But so basically the end result is it turns a bag that's not structured into something that's like really, really structured. And that was the only con that I had for this bag. So I'm so glad that I found this solution. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about M Boutique and their bag base shapers. Um, so I have two of them. I have one in black because my bag is black and then I also have another one in this beautiful cream color because the inside of the bag is cream. I wanted to try it and I wanted to see what it looked like. Both options look great. I will include like um, close up so you can see what it looks like inside of the bag. But I really feel like they look so, so good. Um, I can't really pick which one I like best, to be honest. I think this one is obviously more carefree because if you spill or anything like that, it won't really show that badly. Um, but this one looks so beautiful, especially with the inside of the bag. So these um, base shapers are made out of faux leather. Um, so if you have any concern of like animal cruelty or anything like that, do not worry, it is faux leather but it's very, very soft and luxurious. So the type of leather resembles Hermès Clémence leather. Um, and so it looks really, really, really nice. I can't tell at all that it's faux. I would have 
probably thought that it would be real yeah definitely i can't tell at all it's because i read it on their website <laughs> but yeah otherwise i wouldn't know um, it seems pretty resistant and pretty sturdy but also the right amount of bendable um, which is nice so basically um, their website has so many different models to choose from so many different colors as well but the nice thing is that if you are unable for some reason to find um, a base shape or for any kind of bag that you may have they will create one for you so they have like a custom made option which is great um, and then the last thing that I wanted to mention was so they are located in Australia but they do offer free shipping over orders of like 60 um, Australian dollars or more so I'm located in the US and um, even though the package came from Australia it only took like five or six days to get here after I've ordered it which is super duper fast um, the bag base shapers came well packaged it was very professionally done I even had to sign for the package so very very secure um, I think that the close-ups will speak for themselves I don't think that we need to talk about it for a billion years but quite frankly I'm very very impressed with this company I feel like it's gonna um, be a big thing very very soon so if you are interested in checking them out then I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box of the video down below uh, with the link of the website and then the link to um, the particular bag base shapers that I've chosen. I would highly recommend them, quite frankly, so go ahead with your eyes closed. So now moving on to pros, since we've exhausted all of the cons um, that there were about this handbag. So I did some research and I also saw like what other people had to say about it and something that came pretty recurrently, so this is why I will mention it, um, was the fact that a lot of people seem to have a hard time wearing this bag um, on their shoulders if they were already wearing like either a thick sweater or a coat. So this is something that I did try on um, for Thanksgiving. I went back to Canada. I have like a thick Montclair jacket, um, like a parka. Uh, for me, it wasn't a problem, but um, I realized that this may be a problem for some people. So definitely do you know think about that ahead of time if you are interested in getting this bag. For me personally, it wasn't a problem, so that's why you know I didn't like specifically super duper mention it. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the pros. Um, other than the price, obviously, and <laughs> that was a big pro of this handbag. We have, for me, um, the roominess of it. I mean, even though it doesn't look bulky and it doesn't look super duper large, it is so incredibly roomy. This bag fits a ton of stuff. I hope that you were potentially able to see that from um, the close-ups with the bag base shapers. I feel like you can put so much in here without like, the bag being too too heavy because it's very very light to start with so that's an awesome factor about the bag as well and then I love the fact that it's very practical so if you're done using it or if you're traveling or anything you can actually fold it um, so the bag came folded um, when I purchased it and so you can fold it in your suitcase and it's basically weightless doesn't take up any space it's so so practical and convenient I love that and then um, for the pros, the next thing that I would mention is kind of the versatility of this bag. It's really, really surprising. You could use it for so many different occasions. You could use it for work bag, school bag, uh, gym bag, everyday bag, diaper bag, travel bag. I mean, I really can't think of like uh, a type of situation where this bag wouldn't work for an evening. It wouldn't be ideal but you could still potentially use it so this has been one of the best purchases that i have made quite frankly i'm impressed with the quality i can't tell you a lot about the wear and tear because i've only had it for a couple of months but so far i've worn it probably in these couple of months at least like 20 times and there is zero but like zero zero absolute zero wear and tear on my purse so that's something that i really really appreciate about it 
it's very comfortable um, even the handles I was a little bit um, concerned because they're pretty thin I was concerned that um, the bag would kind of weigh down on my shoulders and that the handles wouldn't be comfortable but really it's not the case they seem pretty sturdy as well I mean fingers crossed so far so good so I can't wait to wear it more I mean I feel like this is going to be like my everyday all the time companion for the foreseeable future So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was beneficial and informational for you in case you were looking at acquiring a Goya handbag. I would say go right ahead, I've been very impressed with the quality, with the versatility, um, with all of the many many occasions for which I've been able to wear this handbag. It's been really nice and then what's made it even nicer was the use of the bag shapers. I would highly recommend them. So once again, please do check them out. Please um, go check out M Boutique. They've been very, very sweet. They've been extremely kind to me and they are an awesome brand. So please go right ahead. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.